10 things you should never say to a guy over a text. Number 10. We need to talk. If you send these words to a man, then you might as well have sent him a text saying it's over because that's what he is most likely to be thinking. Even if he doesn't think that this is what you meant by it, we need to talk sounds urgent and official. It sounds like whatever the topic of the conversation is going to be, it's certainly not going to be pleasant. Number nine. My period is late. Do not send the I'm late a text. This is not a text message conversation. Having a late period is a big deal, and you do not want to have this discussion over SMS. Number eight. Do you really love me? You really shouldn't ever send a text like this, because this does sound clingy and desperate. Guys do like their space sometimes, and they hate the thought of being pushed into saying things. If he loves you, he'll tell you when he's ready, and he probably won't do it by text. Number seven. It's over. Breaking up with someone via text is one of the big no-nos of texting etiquette. If he's not expecting it, then hearing the news is going to be bad enough without it coming in the form of a cold and blunt text. Number six. What have you been up to? This text is going to reek of two possible things. Either you are desperate to see him again, or you don't trust him. How was your day? Would be a far better way to find out what he's been doing recently, and it won't have him thinking that you are checking up on him. Number five. I see you. Do not be creepy. Even if you spot your crush from across the mall, do not ever send an ICU text. It is too weird. Number four. Are you ignoring me? If he's been ignoring you, he's not going to respond. And you're not doing yourself a favor by asking if he's ignoring you because he's still not going to respond. Just let it be. Number three. I love you. Don't you dare break out the L word for the first time in a text. Love deserves a face-to-face -face conversation. Screenshots of past conversations. Sending him a screenshot of a past conversation may seem like a good idea to prove your point at that time. But if they've already been resolved, then you're only raking up unnecessary issues and adding fuel to the fire. Number one. Sarcastic messages. Sarcasm isn't easily understood even when the recipient is sitting in front of you. To expect a guy to understand it over text where he can't make out if you are joking or serious is a little over the top. It's a situation ripe for misunderstanding.